onto actual possessions. What causes them? It is anyone's guess, but practicing the occult seems to be the most prevalent cause. Other than that, we do not know. And it does not mean that occultism always, or in majority of cases, results in possession. The usual telltale signs of possession are extreme repulsion and the agitation towards Christian symbols and practices. The demoniac may manifest knowledge that he or she never acquired, and manifest incredible feats of strength and aggression when an exorcism is attempted. There are ways by which a possession can be differentiated from a mental illness. For example, St. Piscius would hold a relic of St. Arsenius of Cappadocia in his clenched fist and would show hands to the suspected demoniac. The demoniac would always, without fail, gaze terrified into the hand that contained the relic, regardless of how many times St. Piscius switched hands. 